What's up, guys? Toby, Five Old Bates. Hey, today, oh, let me check this real quick. Trying to have the colors ready for you, sir. As usual, they're not, but they're close. So today, we're going to talk about laminate blades. And if you do not have Oh, oh, come on. If you do not have a dual injector, which I still say get a dual and you can break them down into two singles, but we're going to shoot a single injector and we're going to use laminate plate. This is with the 669 Stinger that you've seen me shoot, the newer one, but this is a laminate plate from Bass Tech. They'll come different ways with different companies, I guess. Some are called a system. Some are just a, a solid plate like that. So you'll shoot it and then, of course, take that plate off, put your other side of your mold back on. That'll be the other side. And shoot your next color. Now, like in this 2.75 little hammer from Angling AI, all it is is a bar, a little flat piece of metal that separates when you shoot your your dual it separates your two colors and the way this thing is machined sends one color to one side one color to the other so every company makes them some are a little different than others uh, i have not even shot this one so we'll see how this goes uh, i have a dual so i don't really need it but if something goes wrong and I don't have the time, then, okay, then I'll shoot it that way. Uh, this is going to be pretty simple. I'm just doing black over chartreuse. Um, sorry, I tried to have it ready, but of course it's not ready. So, anyway, those are the two molds we're going to shoot. The 2.4 inch Stinger. And I'm also going to be shooting some uh, two and a half inch scrubs when I get to the fluorescent chartreuse just because I need some. So people are wanting them, so I need to get those. Um, sorry about this part. I thought I had it closer already. There we go. That's even up now. Go ahead and put the second color in. Or plastic. When you're using the. Uh, the fluorescent chartreuse is stuff like that. It does not like heat, so or many remails. So I always start my plastic first, and then add the colorant. Now you have some colorants that it say it like your fluorescence. Some you have to add before, and some you have to add after. I, it, it'll tell you or whatever, but. Just be mindful of that. And with this laminate plate, your two little bars that come up are from the uh, top. So we're actually shooting the top color first. That's why you have to shoot it. You have to shoot the top color first. No big deal. Let's get this to temperature. And I just had to mix up plastic from a five gallon bucket and uh, it does not, we have, the, the weather has changed big time, sort of it's crooked but my little piece is broken. Weather has changed big time, we're getting that big cold front, which I don't mind because the deer are chasing. Ducks are start migrating, and uh, I love this time of year. So, so we're gonna shoot our top color again. It's just black. We're gonna do black over chartreuse. We don't need that much plastic. So, I well, you know why I drew up that much. But so we'll shoot it. Top it off, I don't really know why, because like I said, there's smaller baits, you don't have to worry about as much drawing down. 
I just want to show you how these laminate plates work if you do not have a dual injector and you're wanting to shoot more dual colors. Again, this one here, like I said, it's just clear right at this moment because we're going to wait and add the fluorescent chartreuse. Like I said, it doesn't care for a whole lot of reheats. It'll burn, burn, get that old orangish yellow look instead of the true color that we're wanting. So we've got this about ready. I'm going to put it back and have it ready so we can get this taken care of. Take our little twisties off. These are so much easier. I like these. A whole lot better. Oh, please, please, please do right. And that's what you're left with. You just have half the bait. This side is pretty much just venting now what I don't like about them is like with that tail <coughs> I have to replace those tails and I do not have my glasses I ain't gonna say glasses my readers we can't see up close so I gotta get longer arms and that ain't happening so tell without my readers that this is not going to be good. Some of them stayed in place where they, where they belong. Some of them didn't. So again, I think to get, I think if you can afford it or have the, you know, the opportunity, go ahead and get you a, a dual injector. It's just better. And like I said, if you're going to buy one, spend the extra 75 bucks or whatever it may be, and get the dual, and that way you can break it down and have two singles. All right, now we're going back with the other side of the mold. This is actually the bottom of the mold. I did all that, knowing I have got to break this off. Pull them off your screw and leave them in place. Runner, screw, spruce, whatever it's called. Um, I know my grammar or whatever isn't the best, so. It's an old country boy. My bad, I totally forgot that part. Now we're going to replace, we still have the half in the mold. And we're going to put our actual other piece down on there. Sorry, it's taking so long, but the way it goes, get our hot plastic out of the way there. Sure I've got the spoon or the knife for the spoon. I can't even. It's like I can't function as well in here without music going. All right, it's about 3:14, but I'm gonna heat it up one more, just a few more seconds, because when we're shooting it with a laminate plate, you want it to be a little bit hotter. That way you get that bond. That's why I do prefer a dual colored laminate with the dual injector, mainly because it turns it into one piece for you. It just bonds so much better. And when I'm doing it with a laminate plate or, or if you're doing it with a laminate plate and when I, before I got a dual injector, you know, I depended on laminate plates a lot as well. So, but a lot of people see that or just do not realize what a laminate plate is. So that's why we're doing it. 
if you have them and you know what I'm what I'm doing, then okay, my bad. But some people don't, and some people do not have double, triple injectors or whatever. We're gonna add our fluorescent chartreuse. drops with the fluorescent chartreuse and the green short if you think adding more drops is going to make it thicker no it won't um, it is a translucent color but that's what I like about it but that is why the only way to really do that would be to add some regular traditional white to it or something along those lines but that's why I like this color. It's because of the translucency of I love it. Alright, I am shooting these other molds and I have the see if I wouldn't have checked, my knobs were not tight. And these colds are oh, molds are extremely cold. It is cold, cold, little cold fronts kicking in. <clears throat> and well I don't know if they're gonna turn out or not being that cold but we're gonna go ahead and shoot them anyway on top of this uh this bait with the laminate plate again that is the uh bass tackle 669 two and a quarter inch or 2.4 inch finger did not feel good at all at all so I don't know if it feels or not it probably did not we're gonna top these off just just to make sure with these real clear translucent baits like I said you do not want bubbles and you'll get bubbles from drawing down or you'll get bubbles in your plastic uh, talked about that before there's several ways that you can get rid of the bubbles uh, I vacuum chamber mine before I start and uh, when I mix a fresh bucket five gallon bucket um, it is really a pain in the butt because I mix it and I mix it good and it causes uh, bubbles because I, I may do it a little more aggressively than I should but you know that's why I like the vacuum chamber but I also like the vacuum chamber at first when I first put it in the cup other than this here usually I'll go ahead and make my color if it's a recipe that I know and I know I need 30 drops or whatever I'll go ahead and mix my colorants before I um, vacuum chamber because these uh these colors can add bubbles to your plasticizer. But usually vacuum chamber you can knock it right out. Alrighty. Give my glove off I feel like I can feel everything. Alright, there was our top color we shot first, the black these are flipped over sorry but anyway let's turn it on over. that is how you get a dual color laminate with a laminate plate so if you only have a single injector there are plenty of molds out there and baits that you can use and still get two colors. Again, you start off, use this end because of your little, or you can switch it around. You can move these into that one and shoot your bottom color first, but I didn't feel like doing that. So you'll take one side of your mold and add your laminate plate. There's nothing on there but some venting. 
Boom. Shoot your first color. Take that off. Put your second part piece of your mold in. Bam. And that way, if you only have a single injector now, these are great. Again, I prefer the dual because, like I said, you're shooting both plastics in together and it just seems to, to me like you're going to get a whole lot better bond. Um, but these bonded well, very well. And they make a great bait. Either way. So there you go. And I love how you have this color, but you have a solid screw. It's just awesome. But that's why I love that real transparent. From one angle, you get the black behind it. It's sort of greenish. And then from the side, you've got your clear. Come on now light usually helps me out but it's not then from the side you get more of a true chartreuse color compared to underneath it looking up a little stray piece of the flake in there I think you can see it one little red flake in there that happens it's like a glitter bomb in here at times other bait makers I don't know if got the same problems but anyway so Again, you do not have to have a dual injector. You can use the laminate plates, and they do come differently. Like I showed you in the hammer, it's just a little flat metal piece. I say bar, but it's really just a piece of metal. Um, while you're here, check these out real quick. Just the grubs. Two and a half inch. These are from Angling AI. That mold there is from Bass Tackle. This one here is always a, usually a little tough to break loose. This is the one that didn't feel good, so I do not know if it, yeah, it, it did it. Two and a half inch scrubs. Like I said, it's fall. <coughs> the crappy are biting, the crappy crap. Oh, no, they did not all of them. I got some up top that did not feel, but all these did. Enough for a pack. Love these type tails when we're throwing at them or trolling. And this color has been awesome. Especially on one little uh, small lake that we have here, Broadway, if anybody's local. Uh, it's been really good on that lake. So, fishing Broadway. Hey. Hit me up. I'll uh, give you the colors that have been catching. Now, I haven't really been to the other lakes, so I do not know what's going on there. But that is it, man. Hey, I am trying to edit some stuff, so if it messes up, don't give up on me. I promise I'm trying to learn, trying to get this down, but find a little app. I tried it on the last video where we shot our... Uh, Our curly whites are for our bucktails and everything um, but when I downloaded it where it went between my intro and my video it kept stopping so I don't know I'm not a real big computer guy you know so anyway I'm, I'm learning but trying to have a little intro you know as well and all that good crap but we're trying and I appreciate you being here if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe for me, guys. It helps me out and uh, makes me know people are watching it and maybe learning something from it or enjoying it and uh, put out more content. So, again, single injector made a perfect laminated bait. So, if you don't have one, again, not harping on it, but when you buy your dual, like I said, it's clamped together. So, you have two singles right there. And it's cheaper than if you were to buy two separate singles. So if you can, try to buy the dual first and you have two injectors. But if you don't and you only have one, I understand there's kids, high school kids, whatever, probably 
can only get one at the moment. So if that's the case, look for laminate plates. You still make two colored baits. They work good. Make a great bait. Appreciate you being here. It's Toby, 5-0 Baits. Let's go catch some fish. See you.